Welcome to Hollywood. Los Angeles, the city of angels and Oscars. This is the largest city in California, the second largest in the United States. And for us, it was home for many years. Yes. Do you miss it? Miss the weather. Yeah, miss the weather for sure. But it is a fun place to be. Yes. For how long did you live here? 16 years. Wow, and I lived here for six years. We know this place, huh? A little. <laughs> I'm Renata and this is Gordon. We both worked in one way or another in areas related to Hollywood. Me in front of the cameras and Gordon behind. <laughs> kind of what we still do today. Yeah. So join us. In this and my next few videos, we'll show you some of our favorite things to do in Los Angeles and we'll bring you along as we discover new attractions. Here's our car. Hey. Yeah, when you come to LA, you need a car to go sightseeing, unless you're planning to only stay in a few quarters. Just get a car. But I have to say this, public transport has improved a lot in the last 10 years, and the city of LA itself has some decent options. I don't think it's reliable. Too difficult to get from A to B, to C to D. The thing is that when we talk about LA, we mean the metro area. LA has a bunch of separate cities, like Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Malibu, and uh, integrating public transport among different regions with different administrations can be challenging. Oh, anybody who says you'll use public transport, you're gonna be spending a lot of time. It's not worth your time. Just trust me, I lived here. And Uber can get pretty expensive because the LA area is very spread out. And also, look at this, you're constantly in traffic. LA is normally associated with movies, we figured we'd start a series in Los Angeles, right here in Hollywood. Los Angeles is very well known for the Walk of Fame, and here it is. There are 2,700 stars over here, so if you have a favorite celebrity, make sure you check in advance where his or her star is located, otherwise you may walk forever and never find what you want. On the internet, you can find a list of stars and also the list of events going on here. You can check them out at walkoffame.com. It's free to go, you know, open to the public. I've covered a few when I live here. It's always fun. Oh, Slash Baby, that's for you. Look at that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like him, huh? You should have a guitar. You should have a guitar. But you know, there are only five symbols you can have here. Make it six. The sixth one should be YouTube or the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The stars here are in five different categories and they're represented by different symbols. Look at this. There's movies, TV, radio, theater, and recording from musicians. Fun fact, the stars here are not free for whoever's receiving them. They cost $50,000 and the money goes to pay for the star itself and to maintain the Walk of Fame. A lot of good things that we got here at nine in the morning, very early. That's why it's still quiet like this. Later it gets much busier. When you come here in the afternoon, look at the amount of street vendors over here. But this early, the museums and shops are not open yet. They open at 10. So if you get here this early, it's more to go for a stroll, see the stars. Now, this here is the prime location of the Walk of Fame, where celebrities have their handprints and their footprints right in front of the Chinese theater. I'm Michael Jackson. Clint Eastwood? Yep. There's a Brazilian here. Who? Oh, come on. All this Show time me. living here? You Show haven't me. seen? <laughs> Carmen Miranda. Look at that. Yeah. 1941. Look how small her feet are. Oh, my God. No, it's not possible. Look at this. Meryl Street size is more similar to mine. <laughs> These two here were the first, Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Bigford. Guess when the first prints were left over here? 1934. 27. The most importantly, like in New York, the day. May 1st. The day! Yeah, it's April 30th, baby! <laughs> it's my birthday! May 1st is his birthday. And then there was a new one right here on April 30th as well. There are nearly 200 signatures here. This is one of the most traditional movie theaters here. He opened in 1927. 
You can do a tour inside the theater. I did already. It's really nice if you're into movies. Here inside you see a few costumes and props. Here's Marilyn Monroe's dress in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Not sure I agree with that. <laughs> And why the theme Chinese? It was considered too exotic at the time, as very few people had had contact with the Chinese culture. Another famous theater here is the Dolby Theater, former Kodak Theater. This is where the Oscars take place. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch. Look at this, a homage to all winners of Best Picture. Braveheart, this is one of my all-time favorite movies with Mel Gibson. And they're ready for years to come. Look at this, 2030, 31, 32. What happened to 2021? February 2022 is Oscar 2021. Oh, yeah. you're so smart. Dolby Theater is connected to Hollywood and Highland, which is this shopping mall here where we park in the car. We all with the same. There's a nice viewpoint over there where you can see the Hollywood sign. And when you come to the fourth floor of the Hollywood and Highland complex, there's a nice homage here to Kobe Bryant. And look at that rooftop view of the Walk of Fame. Totally free. Today only five dollars right now. And the Oscar goes to oh, the husband. Now find one for me. Come on, it is right next to it. Here do you go on for you. <laughs> Fully agreed. There are a lot of these tours over here that promise to take you to the celebrity houses, but uh, you can't see much. You know, most of the times you just see walls. Can't know for sure if they still live there and don't count on seeing celebrities. Let me tell you the truth. Don't expect to see celebrities here unless there's some kind of event going on. Most movie productions don't happen here anymore and the studios moved out to different parts of the city. Actually, the only celebrities you see here are those dressed in costumes, but try taking a picture with them. You'll probably have to pay like $10, and they can be pretty aggressive. In addition to the two theaters and the Walk of Fame, you can also check out these uh, museums here. Hollywood Museum, Ripley's Believe It or Not, there's the Wax Museum, Museum of Illusions over there. So, got some pretty fun options. The Walk of Fame extends for several blocks, but uh, most of the attractions are concentrated around Hollywood and Highland, maybe until Hollywood and Vine. Outside of these blocks, better avoid walking by yourself here at night. Just saying. I worked with his mom. No way! Yeah. Really? Yeah. How cool! When you park in this complex here, Hollywood and Highland, you need to validate your ticket in order to pay less, you know. So, nice excuse to sit down and get something very refreshing. Just don't forget to ask for your discount voucher. Three dollars. Welcome to Griffith Park. so much better. It is pretty expensive to park here. Look at this. $10 an hour. But well, here's the tip. Come on a weekday because you only need to pay after 12 noon. Here's the reason why everyone comes here. Look at the Hollywood sign over here. I'm calling up for hope. The sign initially read Hollywood Land. It was an advertising for a real estate company, but then the part land fell down and only Hollywood stayed. The community here enjoyed so much that they decided to live it as is. From here, you can actually hike until very close to the Hollywood sign. You can go behind it. It is really cool. We used to come hiking over here, especially in those hills over there. It is really nice. Good exercise. The view here is already pretty good, huh? But there are some places where you can get even closer. I'll show you in the sequence. Look at how spread out LA is. This is downtown, right? Mm -hmm. Over there. You remember? Century City. Westwood. 
Westwood might be. So in my opinion, the best day to come here is Friday because you can come earlier, around 11 or maybe even 10, park here for free, see all the area, all the exterior part, and then the museum opens at noon. You'd only be paying for one hour the time that you're inside. Parking is expensive, but on the other hand, you can visit the observatory for free. Just pay attention at the opening times as it's only open from Fridays to Sundays. Here you can see exactly when it opens. That line represents noon. First astronomical telescope of LA. Here it explains, look at that. In the late 1800s, astronomers came here to California and built the largest observatories in the world and made discoveries that transformed our view of the universe. Oh, remember the periodic table? Here you can see which elements existed at what time, for example, during the Big Bang. Meteorites here, found in California, the vast majority around the Mojave Desert. All these little points of light you're looking at here are all stars that are found within our galaxy. And it isn't actually, it's, this isn't just art or any arbitrary computer graphics. And it is uh, the largest image ever made. Very interesting and certainly worth a visit. These are these planets are too scale, by the way. Interesting that they maintain Pluto here. Although it was demoted, it's not a planet anymore. People still love them. This device here is what measures earthquakes. Please stay quiet like this. Wow. Look at the last earthquake here in the LA area. What happened? This was in 1994. Gordon remembers this. It was scary. Yeah. It was so scary. I want to leave this state already. <laughs> Don't be here when big earthquake. Now, look at this. If you say that you want to go to the Hollywood sign, Look at what Google Maps does. It takes you right here. Although, here's not the sign. The sign is over there. See, they tell you you should park over here and then walk over there. This is because people who live in this area here, they were tired of tourists all over driving and looking for the sign. Yeah, I'd be tired too. But I'm gonna show you another place right now. Hollywood sign. Yeah, we're close. Do you see how narrow the roads are? Yes. That's why they don't want a lot of tourists driving here. Yeah, because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. And then you have an earthquake and then, oh, it gets really bad. Yeah. It is a very curvy road. You go through a residential neighborhood going up, up, up all the time. About 20 minutes from where we were at Griffith Park. But here it is. This is Lake Hollywood Park. I left my heart in California. I Just put on the GPS Lake Hollywood Park. It brings you right here. And there's plenty of parking on the street for free. There's people then at uh, Griffith Park. Absolutely, absolutely. This is just closer and fewer people. And you don't have to pay 10 bucks an hour for parking. Yeah. Save yourself some money. There are two viewpoints. This one up here, and then there's the park itself down there. Welcome to Hollywood. From down here, you got the green park, so the picture is even prettier. Now, here's another tip. It is much easier to drive to Lake Hollywood Park coming from Hollywood as compared to coming from the Griffith Observatory. Look at the road. This is the Hollywood Bowl. Very cool amphitheater. Carlinos Bra Musica Brasileira Pofon Fica La. Now, as we're so close, let's go for a quick drive along a very famous boulevard over here, Sunset Boulevard. Guitar Center, that's where all the musicians went. El Cafe still there. I don't remember this. Where's the Whiskey A Go Go? Did we pass it? That's where Slash and Guns N' Roses did their first things. My first internship was in a, a building back there. Yeah. Did you hate it? No, it was fun. Really? It was fun, yeah. What was it again? A talent agency. I used to select people for auditions. 
Now, if you go straight through on Sunset Boulevard, you're over the ocean. But for us, Sunset Boulevard means one thing. I've been here very many times. Oh, look at lineup. Uh huh. Always, huh? Not good. Whenever we come to Hollywood, where do we stop by? Yeah. Yeah. Touchless, touchless. In and out is a California chain, and I remember a few years ago that this restaurant right here was the busiest in the world. Probably still is. They only call 39. <laughs> And we've been here for like 10 minutes, huh? Officially, there are only three burgers here on the menu. But there's a secret menu. <laughs> Actually, not so secret, because you can read about it on the website. I miss this so much. Look at this burger inside. It's toasted. Delicious. Good? Your fries, yeah. <laughs> Another very traditional place for you to eat here in this area is Pink's Hot Dog. There is always a line outside. Today it would be a good day to go, right? We rarely see it like that. Yeah, get yourself a pink dog. Yeah. Pink's. <laughs> it is very, very good. This is just the first video. We just arrived here in LA. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, activate the notifications, and if you enjoyed my tips, give me a like. I really appreciate it.